Okay, so today is going to be a small tutorial on how to use HVAC tape instead of foil for skinning your model aircraft. And as you can see, the HVAC tape has a paper backing and you just peel it off and uh, obviously cut it to the size you want. I would suggest starting out small at this point until you learn how to how to do this process very well uh, what I'm going to do is I've already got a uh, piece here uh, just a scrap piece um, I've already took the uh, paper backing off of it and as you can see the piece is um, wrinkled a little bit but hey you know what no problem we're going to use it I've got the um, horizontal stabilizer here and uh, I'm going to show you how to apply it. So, 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 so basically, um, and like I said, this is just a, uh, just to show you how to use it. I'm just going to apply it on one side here and uh, smooth it out the best I can with my thumb or whatever finger is best for you. And I'm going to curve it over the leading edge and then smooth it out on the other side the best that I can okay now I use a round toothpick and I use a flat toothpick okay and you can get these about anywhere so basically, what I'll do is I'll start with the, uh, with the flat toothpick. And basically, you're just going to, to smooth it all in. And, uh, and as you go, you see the little rivets right there? You just uh, you smooth it all in with your rivets so you can get your rivet detail and uh, just go a little at a time so it's very time consuming I'm not going to say it isn't uh, but uh, it's much better than foil I've, I've used foil years ago and uh, for the times, it, it was it was nice, it was new, it was the thing to do. But I learned this trick from an old man about 30 years ago. Now see, here's a wrinkle right here. Now you see how I can just take that small wrinkle and just smooth it out. You just keep working over the top of it very carefully. You see that wrinkle just came right out. Now, if they get much bigger than that, chances are they may not come out, or, or they may. You may get lucky, and they may come out, okay? But uh, it's trial and error at first if you're new at this. So as you can see, there's, there's three of the panels done. Actually, four. That one there is done. And now I'm going for this one. And... Uh, like I said, just take your time, work in all your rivet detail, smooth it all in good, and uh, a very important thing is to have a real smooth flat toothpick. You don't want one that's uh, that's got divots and stuff in it. Find you a good flat one, okay, and. Uh, just work it, okay? Just back and forth, ever so easy. It don't take a whole lot of pressure unless you're trying to work out a wrinkle. So as you can see there, I pretty much got the one, the one side done here. Now what I do for uh, for where the elevator meets the horizontal is I'll take a the point end of the toothpick and uh let's see 
let me get this where you can see it better. And I will take and run that right in and along that groove. There. So see, so see, we've got that detail now. It looks fantastic. Obviously, this is just a scrap piece, but if you were doing the whole thing, you would, uh, I, I myself have used a whole piece for something like this, but, uh, you can work in smaller sections if you want to do it in, in, in two pieces and wrap it and wrap it around like I have here all the way. And, uh, make sure you get your, and I've got the round, I've got the round toothpick again. Make sure your leading edges, I just take the round of the toothpick and just smooth out that leading edge real well. So it's as smooth as glass. You see? Works real well. Then you go back with your flat toothpick and start picking out your rivet detail. And see, I've got some wrinkles. I've got some wrinkles in here. I don't know if you can see it, if the light is messing with it or not. It is pretty shiny stuff. And uh, I'm just working those wrinkles out a little at a time, one panel at a time. So... You know, it, it's not that bad a process. It's it's just the know-how, the little tricks to get your detail, the little trick of, of, of working out the, the wrinkles and the curvatures. That's where the round toothpick comes in. Um, so, so as you can see, all them wrinkles were took out of both of those panels and and looks fairly decent now see and uh you know really that's all there is to it and like i said when you come to your curvatures or whatever you want to use the round toothpick and um like if you're let me pick up the fuselage here if you're if you're going around uh uh your cockpit and, and the nose of the plane like take for instance this this is one piece right here you want to take just small pieces at a time. Actually, this is two pieces, one here and one here. I actually framed out the windows first with very small pieces, okay? And then I added these two. And then I added this piece and then this piece. So these are two pieces, okay? Now, as for the fuselage itself, all of this right here wrapped around to the other side is one piece. This is one piece here. And this is one piece here with another small piece on the end. Okay. Now, typically you want to work from the back to the front. Okay. And the reason being is, is when you have, when you run into the other piece here, your overlap is facing a rearward direction in the airflow or the airstream, okay? Which, uh, on real aircraft, that, that is the way it is, not vice versa, okay? As you can see, all the rivet details show and blah, blah, blah. Now, I did take my knife, my razor knife, like this, and scribed a little more detail in you know for your opening hatches here and blah 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 you you can do that also just being very careful and make sure you get straight lines and uh the the nose here that that's one piece right here now if once you get good enough you can do these large view slot sections in one piece like 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 i do okay but until then, don't be afraid to take, let, let's say, two sections at a time and just, just wrap it two sections at a time. 
it's all going to turn out the same. Okay. It's all going to look good. And then if you have um, areas on the aircraft where there aren't any rivet details, like on this one, this was actually a very poorly cast <laughs> model, if you, you know. So there wasn't any rivet detail through this section, and I added my own, okay? Uh, but all this was was already on the model. I just brought it through brought it through the uh, aluminum tape. So that that's about all there is to it. As you can see, I've got the wing to do yet and the horizontal stabilizer. Uh, but as you can see, there, there isn't a whole lot to it. Oh, and here's another feature, okay? If you don't like the way if you don't like the way it turned out, go ahead and here, let me get this where you can see it. Take your razor knife, just lift up a corner and go, well, you know what? I didn't like how that piece turned out. Let's go ahead and let's just peel it off. Or say, or say you got a wrinkle. I can just peel it off and do it again. Okay. And just smooth it out. Just smooth it out. And take your toothpick and just go back at it. Okay, it, it, it's not rocket science. It's just the know-how, that's all. See, and you can just smooth it all back out. But if you determined you didn't like the piece at all and you wanted to replace it, which, which I've done many times, I mean, it's trial and error no matter even how good you get at it, especially when it comes to uh, tight curvatures, you know, around around uh, your engine to cells, you know, around here uh, and around your the bottoms of the nacelles. Uh, as you get better, you will learn to do all this with perfection. But see, if, if you don't like the way it turns out, just peel it off. It peels off. And, and, uh, well, it didn't peel off in one piece. Sometimes they don't. And start over. There. No damage done. See? And you can just throw another piece on. So that's the end of today's tutorial. And, uh, hope you enjoy this process. And, uh, by the way, if you don't like the shiny nature of it, which a lot of museum uh, aircraft are polished out like this, uh, but but some aren't. You can take some real fine uh, double aught steel wool and take and just scuff it up very carefully, you know, and uh, dull it down. You can dull it down, and uh, will make for a good used effect and, and weathered effect of, of the of the metal okay so so that's that's all we got for today i hope you enjoyed it and uh good luck guys